Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about initializing arrays with values. Now, if you remember from the previous tutorials, we created an array called string classes, and then when we went through and we assigned a value to each one of those, um, or we assigned a, yeah, a value to each one of the indexes in that array. Now this could take a, a lot of time and there's an easier way to do this by adding those uh, values to the array when you initialize the array. So we'll go ahead and open up our arrays project. We'll go ahead and zoom in some. And we will find string classes right here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and find form one load. And you can see under form one load it takes all of our indexes and string classes and it sets a value to them. Now we don't need this. We can go ahead and assign it um, so that when the program is built it's automatically that all of the um, strings and in the indexes of string classes already have a value and they aren't set at form one load. They are just there. So we'll go ahead and to assign values you set you declare your array as string or int or whatever you want and then you add two curly braces and now you're gonna have to uh, since we're using a string we'll go ahead and type web design for the first um, index which is gonna be zero and now to set the value for the second index what you're gonna do is you're gonna add a comma so then we'll type Spanish chemistry English history and calculus so now we have all six of the items in string classes set to a value now when we set the values for this we're no longer going to need the number under string classes which is it's going to give us an error. So if we take out 5, it's going to see that we assign this. And when we assign it, it's going to say we're going to use 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is 6 items. And it's going to automatically know that instead of having to look at what we specify right there. So if we run this, we should get the same results as last time. Uh, we can do whatever we want and it'll still work. Now we can also do this with integers. So we'll just go ahead and type private string or int let's just do my numbers as integer and we'll go ahead and assign each value in there. So we'll just do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So instead of using string classes in here, we can go ahead and type my numbers. So this should make it a little bit easier for you guys to see what's going on. And looks like we're getting an error here. So instead of string for our add items to list, well, let's go ahead and make another add items and we will use coercion so private sub add items to list and we're going to use argaray as integer so instead of string we will just do integer and we will copy this right here so now we have two copies of add items to list and we can pass an array as a string or an array as an integer and it will still work. So we'll go ahead and minimize that. And if you don't know what coercion is, then you might want to go back and view that in one of my earlier tutorials. So let's go ahead and do my numbers right there. My numbers. And we'll go up here and get this one that we missed. And we'll go ahead and delete all this right here because we don't need it. And now let's go ahead and run our program. 
So you can see here that we can go ahead and click Add Array Elements and we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And now if we click Sort Array, it's not going to change anything. And if we click Reverse Array, we get 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And if we click Sort Array, what it's going to do is, since this is of type integer, it's going to sort it in numerical order. Now when we use string or character, it's going to sort it in alphabetical order. So we can re reverse that and click sort, and uh, it'll set it back in numerical order. So go ahead and uh, you can create this program that we've just made and add the step that I added. Uh, here's a look at our add items to list. You can pause it right there if you don't know what's in there. And then uh, go ahead and make some arrays. Initialize them with values already. Uh, make them of other types besides string and integer so you, so you can get some more practice with them. And uh, once you got that down and you're not going to forget it, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial. And thanks for watching.